Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about custom activity and this is the part two of custom activity. In the first tutorial, first video, you have learned about how to create a simple hello user custom activity. And now this is the part two. I'm going to show you how to create a custom activity for PDF total page count. And I will also show you that let's say if we have a one activity already created in the package and now if you want to add one more activity or multiple activity in the same package then how can we do that like instead of creating another package so I will show one by one all these things so let me open the visual studio and first I will show you how to write a code for PDF total page count so I believe you know you will have seen my previous video of reusable component and in that I already shown you that how to use the programming language like C sharp code to get the total page count. So we are going to apply the same code here. If you have not seen my that previous video, you can go through that. You will have better idea. So now let me open the visual studio here. You can see here, I'm going to use the same code here. This is from the previous tutorial and this is for creating a simple hello and then username. And now I'm going to create a custom activity for the PDF total page count. So how can we add another activity inside the same package? Let's say if you see here in the UI path, if I click on this app integration and inside the CSV, we have three activities inside the CSV. And if you are going to install any package, let's say Excel activity, and if you'll install this, then we are getting all this Excel related activities inside the same package. So how can we also do that without creating another package? So for that, you can see here, we already have a UI path RPA and inside this activities and then hello user. Now I want to add one more activity that is PDF total page count here next to the hello user. So for that, as you know that this class name is the activity name and this UI path RPA dot activity, this is namespace and this is the name of this UI path RPA and then activities. You have to create another class here. So this is the end of this activity. So press enter and you have to create a new class for the new activity. So currently what I'm going to do, I'm going to just copy the same code here and just press enter and paste here. And we'll write here that this is for create custom activity for PDF total page count. Now you can see here we have this hello user. So it means this is the class name from the existing. We want to keep the activity name as a PDF total page count. So this is our activity name. So this acti activity name will be your, our class name. And once you'll change this name and you'll see here in the, if you'll click on this class, we have a two different different class. First the hello user and second PDF total page count. So this is the CS file dot CS file. And inside this, we have created the two classes here. Now, once we'll create another class, you will see another class here. You know, we need to always inherit this main class. So we'll, keep the same thing here. We'll use this category input because we are going to take input of the PDF file name so that we can show the you know count of the PDF file. So we'll take a PDF file as an input. So this will be category of input and I'm going to put this required argument and uh, we need to change the description of this input. So currently we'll write here enter PDF file name with full path. So this is our description of the input category. Now the here we have created a argument in argument and this is string and the name is name. Now we are going to take the input as a string in a file. So file name will be string. So we'll keep the same argument type and we just need to change this name. We'll write here PDF file. So this will be our input argument. Now go to the category of output and change this one and we'll write here count of PDF total page count. 
count of total PD PDF pages. So we'll write here count of PDF total pages. And let me delete this required argument. Or you can keep this as per requirement. If you want this art output also as a required argument, then you can keep that. I'm just deleting that. And now we need to create an out argument. So we have an out argument and this is a string because we have taken from the existing one and now this is a result. But this time our out argument type will be different because we are going to send the output of PDF page count. So P PDF page count will be integer. So this will be integer and the result will be I'm going to change this name page count right or we can just put here count. So this will be our out argument name and now we need to keep the same thing as it is. Now here you can see we have this string name equal to name dot get context. But this time our you can see here the name has been changed is PDF file. So we'll keep this string and then this name will be PDF file equal to PDF file. So you can see or you can change here just like this. A string file equal to PDF file dot get context. So this PDF file will be this argument name and this is just a variable of a string data type. It means you know we are going to get the value from this in argument and we'll store that value which is passed by user and now we need to write our steps to first let me delete this to count the pages. So for that you know we have to use the stream reader to get the PDF page count. So we'll write here a stream. So you can see here we are not getting a stream reader. So as you know that here in C sharp we have to write a namespace that is using system.io. So stream reader is a part of system.io namespace. Now if you'll write here a stream then reader reader equal to new new stream reader and then here the file name so we'll just put here file because we are getting the value of the PDF file here in this variable so we'll just put here now close with the semicolon now enter now we need to read this PDF file and check with the regular expression and then get that count right so now we need to write here regex because we have to apply here regular expression so you can see here we are not getting reg regex here so for that again we need to write uh, another namespace that is using system dot text dot regular expression so we need to use this regular expression here and now we can write here regex you can see here now we are getting regex and then we'll write here rage then new new regex and then in the open and close bracket we have to pass our regular expression as a string so we'll write here slash type then backward slash s and then a star and again a slash page in the bracket this is a hat symbol and then s so this is our and then close this so this is our regular expression we need to write now you can see here we are getting an error of this so how can you fix that so to fix that after bracket we need to write here at the rate right now we'll write here matches you have seen in my previous video that we are taking a, a matches activity this activity and then we are passing our you know regular expression here in the pattern and then input as a reader dot read to end right and then we are creating a variable as output so same we are going to do here so we'll write here match collection and then matches equal to 
and this time we'll write here rage because this is our rage dot dot matches and then here will be reader dot read to end and then close this open close bracket and this is done we'll write here integer and then we'll write here count equal to it means we are taking a variable to store the count of pdf page you know that slash type and slash page so we'll take a variable of counter integer type equal to matches dot count then close here close here now we have the count in this variable so how can we pass this count back to this this count this output so for that we have will write here count dot set context comma and this result will be our this small letter count this will be the count now this is done we can go to the build and rebuild the solution and meanwhile we'll open this nougat package explorer and then open a local package so currently we are going to open the 1.0.2 version currently this is installed now we will replace with so before that we will copy this location because we have the recent dll here so we will right click on this and we either we can delete here or we can replace with this dll the recent one now this is replaced we can just edit our package and this will be 3 and let's change this description added pdf total page count activity inside the package right now save this and again save as and this time our package name will be version will be 1.0.3 now save this and go to the uipath studio and click on manage packages now go to the custom activity and this time you will see we have a 1.0.3 and this is our description added pdf total page count activity inside the package now we already have selected 1.0.3 version update this and click on save now you can see here if you we'll click on this ui path rpa and then click on activities so now you can see here we have another activity inside this activities this is pdf total page count we can just take here now we can do one thing we can uh, pass the pdf file name here with the complete full path let's go to the any PDF files so I'm going to take this PDF file name here let's copy this the complete path and as this is the string so we are going to pass here in the double quotation and then take a count so this is a variable count with integer data type you can see here now take a message box here count now save this and let me delete this control f5 so you can see here the page count is 4 we are getting here 4 because if we will open this pdf file so the page count is 4 now as per your requirement you can you know put the string here like page count or you can use that page count in your project to split the pdf files now in the next video we'll start learning about email automation thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video if you have not subscribed this channel then please subscribe please press the like button and if you have any question please comment on video thank you so much